Okay, we're slowly closing in on the end of the metalwork phase here, but <clears throat> there's a couple more things I want to do. I'm waiting for a little slide hammer attachment just to help me tune the profiles of the doors and fenders a little bit. That should be here any day. But <clears throat> the other thing I need to take care of is I want to address these inner fender well and wheel well edges. I mean, there's a fairly sharp edge right here. And, you know, I, I, I can <clears throat> I have a little contraption I can use to roll that up a little bit and just get it so it's not as abrupt. And we're going to try that today, see how that goes. The other thing I've got to want to do is up front, the profile between the fender and the inner fender isn't great. <clears throat> it needs a little bit of, you know, uh, you know, everywhere there's a bolt, it pulls up tight, but it just needs to be worked a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up, pull the wheels off one at a time, probably work my way through each, each fender. Uh, to do the rear ones, it's going to be a little trickier. I'm going to, I got to drop it down, put weight on it, on the axle <clears throat> with a couple of jack stands. Then I'll use the, the roller tool. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. Um, I'll bring you back when I got something to show you how I'm dealing with it. All right, so on the front fenders, it's pretty easy. I just gently tapped in, working it slowly trying not to stretch anything too bad and just worked it until it was flush with the inner fender well. Um, did that on both sides, you know, slipped the wheel off, went all the way around. I marked the bolt locations because that's where it was pulled up tight and just didn't want to lose track of where I was and start beating on a bolt. So um, not necessary, obviously, because you can see pretty good, but uh, just a reminder where to stop and reset and I worked each section one at a time since the bolts had it pulled up tight and it seems to have worked out pretty well. So hopefully that will be good for that. All right, so I picked up this little contraption and this is the first time I've tried to use it. And the idea is that you get it up, you angle it, tighten it up against the body with this screw and then just roll it through a number of times to get it to start to flare up the inside. Uh, not impressed at all. So what's happening is, even though my, my axle is perfectly centered in the fender well, which I checked, and my axle is where it's supposed to be wheelbase wise, which I also checked, this is not obviously a perfect arch, right? So I'm not touching here because it kind of goes up higher in the front and then fades out a little further in the back, sharper in the front. So honestly, this is just not working all that great. I mean, it rolled it up in a little bit, kind of, you know, from, from here to here, it actually looks pretty good. <laughs> but I'm struggling to get this thing to work. Um, and it's not really doing what I expected. I'm, I'm way better off with a hammer and dolly trying to do this, to be honest. So uh, that's an epic fail, at least for the Camaro fender wells. The other thing I had to do is I had to redrill some of the holes because the way the holes were, it was for a much bigger fender well or a smaller fender well. Um, didn't really like this size. So I had to redrill one hole for the pin. Um, but not a big deal. I thought, you know, that'll do it, but it's still, it's not, it's not a good tool for doing this unless your fender is a perfect arch and you know, your quarter panel is a perfect arch and it is lined up perfectly with your axle. I'm lined up pretty well with the axle, but it's not a perfect arch. It's just not. And of course it kind of fluctuates in and out too. So it's obviously much wider at the top than it is at the bottom. So I'm gonna suspend using this for right now. I'm gonna go back to just, you know, working the edge with the hammer and dolly, trying to get as much as I think I might need. And then 
that will do it. Um, and then I'll probably do it in a different, uh, different segment, different episode, but then I'll test the uh, what size tire I can get in this thing. That's really what this is all about. I want to get this rolled out so I can test my tire size and see what I can fit. Um, and if I have clearance for that, that's kind of the, the whole scope of this project. So yeah, um, you know, maybe this is a good tool for some cars or maybe I'm just too stupid to use it, but I just don't get it. Uh, it's not working well for me at all. And you know, this, this when you do get it kind of up into a decent pressure, this joint slips a little bit. You know, it's almost impossible to keep it tight with just this knob. Um, it's just not, not fantastic. So I don't know. I've, I've got, uh, it should work. You should be a way to get in there and start to roll that. But I'm starting to afraid that I'm going to bust tack welds or something in here. So I'm, I'm kind of done with it. I'm going to retreat, pull back, pull, you know, put on some, put on the rim size jig and see what I get, but, and, and just kind of show me where the problem is before I get too carried away here. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Epic fail. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to work it with a hammer and dolly and just do my best to make it look good. Thank you.